had a question recently that I wanted to answer, and this was a question. Will a liver cleanse help my cirrhosis or will it help my fatty liver? My ammonia is high and is the liver cleanse going to help me? So let's just talk about that. Now, the first thing you should know about cirrhosis, it's an advanced situation. In fact, your risk for cancer goes way up. Uh, and 80% of people with uh, liver cancer have some uh, type of cirrhosis going on because cancer tends to grow in damaged tissue. And as you damage the liver, certain things don't work anymore. There's an enzyme called arginase. This is an enzyme that is involved in something called the urea cycle. See, when you break down protein into amino acids, the extra amount of it uh, has to go through as waste, nitrogen waste. So arginase is necessary in making sure that happens, making sure that there's a complete breakdown so it can exit the body without any toxicity. If there's not enough arginase in the liver, we get an incomplete breakdown of arginine. This is the amino acid. Then we get higher amounts of ammonia in the blood, which can travel up to the brain. And that can create a lot of different side effects like coma, dementia, all sorts of brain problems, seizures, tremors. So ammonia is very, very toxic. And too much ammonia that builds up into the brain or the tissues really is there because there's not enough of this enzyme because there's damage in the liver. So the body cannot go through its normal urea cycle and um, clean up this extra amount of protein going on. Now, just as a side note, when I'm talking about damage to the liver, I'm not just talking about cirrhosis, which kind of leaves your liver cells dysfunctional. It can also be a severely inflamed liver. So you can have hepatitis, which leaves your liver dysfunctional. You can have a fatty liver, which stops the function, or scar tissue. And sometimes the fat in the liver creates inflammation that develops in the scar. Sometimes the inflammation in the liver leads to insulin resistance, which then creates more fat in the liver. Then you have a situation where you have inflammation in the liver, which directly turns into scar tissue, that's cirrhosis. Now the big question is, will a liver cleanse help this? Well, the problem is your liver is not dysfunctional because there's toxins in it necessarily. This is a progressive chronic condition that has developed over years that a liver cleanse probably is not going to even touch. It may instead stir up a hornet's nest. It may make your symptoms worse. It could actually release certain bacteria, certain chemicals that are lodged in your fat cells, and then actually recirculate through your blood, end up in your thyroid, and create all sorts of problems. So I don't recommend a liver cleanse. What I do recommend is this. Number one, I know this might shock you, but I'm going to recommend keto. Why? Because keto is a much cleaner fuel. It creates less inflammation than carbs. It's very beneficial to your liver. And it can help you in reducing a fatty liver. Number two, fasting. What is that good for? Inflammation. It'll help you drop inflammation. It'll give your liver a chance to heal. And that's what we're trying to minimize is the inflammation here to allow it to heal. So these two are essential. You want to make sure that you do not consume too much protein. Three ounces per meal would be perfect. Why? Because the problem is that we have an incomplete protein breakdown. So why would we want to add more protein to your liver? It's already damaged. You don't have enough of this enzyme. Next thing to do is to take a product that has L-arginine and manganese. Manganese is a good trace mineral to help detoxify you. And the amino acid, which is a non-essential one, L-arginine as a supplement, it's usually in a powder, or you can get it in capsules, can help reduce ammonia. So if there's not enough arginase, there's not going to be enough arginine. So manganese is a precursor or a building block for arginase, and it can help to increase the ability to detoxify the body. Number five, we want to increase vegetables and celery. That gives us chlorophyll and other natural phytochemicals to help the liver function a lot better. So instead of a detox cleanse, the best way to clean the liver is through the natural phytonutrients that comes from food. And chlorophyll will help as well. 
the phytonutrients in plants are enzymes that help different phases of detoxification and without side effects. So uh, these are very, very important in uh, the detoxification. And number six, tocotrienols. This is a type of vitamin E that comes in handy, and it's a very powerful antioxidant. In fact, the tocotrienols version of vitamin E is 50 times stronger than the tocopherols, and it can greatly help inhibit inflammation. So if you have the start of cirrhosis or you have cirrhosis in the liver, which is scar tissue, vitamin E is going to help in this form, tocotrienols. But if you think about it, vitamin E is good for scars, right? It helps break down scar tissue. Well, why can't it work for scar tissue on the inside of the body as well? Very important. And number seven, probiotics. There's some great research on probiotics that can help decrease ammonia in the body as well. I put a link down below. But this is the protocol that I would recommend. Uh, way better than a liver cleanse by itself. Thanks for watching. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof your immune system. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before